My garbage person of the week is gonna be pretty obvious after you watch this clip. Or did defunding the police change their minds? We saw last month two of those Democrat lawmakers being carjacked, fortunately okay, one in Philly, one in Chicago. And now we see Cori Bush, liberal Democrat from St. Louis, Missouri, saying on Twitter that her car was hit with bullets. Her car was shot, no one was in it, fortunately. But will these lawmakers change their tune? The harsh truth is we need these lawmakers to be victims. We need them to understand when the worst situation possible hits them. And then they could turn around and say, wow, maybe this is an issue. Maybe I need to wake up tomorrow and do my job and start changing things for the better. That's how it's going to happen. And I'm not <laughs> praying that any of these people get hurt or harmed, but they need to see it right. firsthand well, how bad the streets really are. Joe, we, of course, would never wish any harm whatsoever on any American, let alone a politician that we disagreed with. But in the instances, we did see two instances of carjacking where fortunately everyone was okay. Maybe it will change their minds. Now they'd never wish harm on everyone. They just were so thrilled at the possibility that someone like Cori Bush, because she was the target of violent crime, might for the first time ever know what the real world is like. That's what they hope she learns. They're worried that people in the squad don't know what the real world is like, don't understand crime, don't understand all of these problems that are facing the American people. They are literally like the first injection of actual representation of a lot of different communities that we've ever had in our government. They need to finally learn what it's like. And if that means they need to have some machine gun bullets sprayed at them, I mean, we don't want them to be hurt or whatever, but that's what needs to happen. It's such a cesspool. The entire conversation about criminal justice reform in America is such a cesspool of of horrible stuff, of horrible disingenuous fakeitude, and um, then like six academics who are like, "But I had a plan that we could put in place and we could fund it, and it would fix a lot of this." And wildly far left politicians who are tools of who who just want to get reelected and wildly right. Pro propaganda schmuckos are are like well I'm just gonna yeah. run attack ads. The middle yeah, people I, get I wanna, robbed and and put out back on the street after they get let out of jail and they don't have any infrastructure to, in place to help them readjust to reintegrate and avoid those. Yeah, exactly. Well, really fast, I want to read Cory Bush's response to this. She says, I "Quote: The harsh truth is we need these lawmakers to be victims. I'm not praying that any of these people get hurt or harmed, but." And she says, but Fox News is literally out here advocating for me to face violence. I'm just gonna keep working and get justice. Y'all stay mad and be blessed. And thankfully, she says no one was harmed in the attack. But she says, any act of gun violence shakes your soul. That's why our movement is working to invest in our communities, eradicate the root causes of gun violence, and keep everyone safe. Yeah, they're not the ones that need to learn lessons about the real world. They understand it, they're trying to bring it to people like those two who have no interest in learning, unfortunately. Okay, we asked you who your garbage person of the week is, and nearly 30,000 of you did respond, giving us these top five. Coming in at number five with six percent of the vote is the Florida School District for banning a Holocaust graphic novel. At number four with 11% of the vote is RFK Jr. for his deplorable and frank comments. Really, that's just not, that's number four? Number three with 15% of the vote is the VA parent for threatening to bring guns to a school meeting. Number two with 18% of the vote is Tucker Carlson for his racist comments about Biden's possible Supreme Court pick. But with 50% of the vote, your garbage person of the week, Mitch McConnell for referring to black Americans as separate than just Americans. All garbage, thank you to the nearly 30,000 of you who voted as always, much appreciated. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.